Before the advent of modern adhesives, butting the planks together was all the rage with boat builders. There are a couple of different methods to butting planking. One of the methods is to butt it on the frame. This is much less than optimal. Another method is to butt the plank in the frame bay and back it up with a butt block. If the butt joint is on the frames, you have to put a lot of fasteners at the very end of the planking. This riddles both the end of the plank and the frame with fastener holes, which weakens them both. Butting in the frame bays with a butt block is much better. There's not so many fasteners at the very end of the plank. You can space those out. And there are not extra fasteners in the frames. However, the butt block in the frame bay is a catch-all for dust, dirt, and moisture. This oftentimes causes rot in both the butt block and the planking and helps deteriorate the fasteners. One of the great problems we've always had with butt joints is it's very difficult to get the very end of a plank in flush, especially if there's a lot of shape in the plank or if there's a twist. This constant strain in the butt, years later, can cause the butt joint to spring out. The painters, the marine surveyors, and the Coast Guard take a very dim view of this. Here I am, doing my imitation as a marine surveyor, showing you what a loose butt sounds like. So over the years, we've had to come up with clever ways to fix this. And now that we've done that, we no longer use butt joints. If we have to replace a plank now, we always scarf it in. If we just have to fix a leaky butt joint, we put in an engraving piece, a short plank, that is basically scarfed at each end. As you can see here, the outside of the scarf is nibbed. They call this a nibbed scarf. The problem with a feathered scarf is that the glue joint is exposed to the outside and the elements. And if the glue fails, it's a real pain in the butt to fix. One of the repairs I had to do was to fix a bunch of loose scarf joints on a 30 square meter. All those joints had come loose below the waterline. This video isn't long enough to explain how I fixed that problem. But I will never build a boat or repair a boat with feather scarfs. To cut the scarf on the boat, we build these router ramps. We oftentimes use both the router ramp and a multi-tool. We carefully go around the fasteners with the router and then edge it in with the multi-tool. We leave the old fasteners in place until we make the pattern. Then we remove the fasteners, and if the plank springs out a little bit, it doesn't matter. It will be pulled back with a new engraving piece. This has worked out so well over the years that many of our customers have us do the whole boat. butt cracks in the top sides, and no more leaky butts below the waterline. No butts about it now. These scarf joints are far better than butts. We've been using this method now in our restorations and our new construction for well over 35 years. But there are many tricks and techniques to doing these quickly and efficiently. If you are interested in learning more about how to fix butts and how to scarf planks, this information is available on our Vimeo OTT channel. Engineering Plank Scarfs shows you not only how to engineer the scarf, but how to build router ramps and cut the scarfs, as well as fastening them in and what glues to use. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. 
share with your friends, and please visit our website. Comments and suggestions are always welcome. You gotta get really suited and booty <laughs> If you would like to see more, please visit us at our Vimeo OTT channel, MPT TV. Here, you can find a very extensive, constantly growing video library on all facets of classic boating, all organized in one place without ads. We'll see you there.